Okay, guys. Now, after two years of talking to you, and this is what I've told you after two years. I want you to uh, pull away from everybody else. I want you to develop this very, very strong belief system, this knowingness, this memory that you are a god, that everything around you has always been your creation. It always has been and it always will be. To stop blaming everyone else for what is going on around you. Everything has been your creation. Whether it was conscious creation or unconscious creation or subconscious creation, nonetheless, it has all been your creation. I've tried to get you to really come to the understanding that you are a god and everyone around you everything around you also is a god it has consciousness whether you understand it or not whether it has um, cute eyes that bat at you whether it has fuzzy fur that you can pet whether it has a neurosystem that follows what the neurosystem of a human is or not it has consciousness it thinks it knows it feels um, it is a God it is a part of the all that is and I've tried to get you to understand that I wanted you to pull away from any system any belief that made you think in any way shape or form that you aren't good enough that your story wasn't good enough that you weren't being good enough that you cannot mess it up that I promise you there is no one after death that's going to be there judging you at all. Uh, at all. There's going to be nothing less than the great big giant party of what a cool thing you experience whenever you die and go to the other side. Nobody is going to be saying, oh, you did a horrible job and you're going straight to hell forever. Okay? That's what I've tried to get you guys to do. And most of this was disconnecting from a bunch of belief systems that were put into place to take this planet down to the third dimension based on fear, mostly fear, fear and anger, but mostly based on fear that all of these things that you need to do this or that, and even then, usually if you did this or that, it still wasn't good enough, you still were not good enough, <laughs> just about almost all the religions, all the education system, the uh, health system, every single system, put it in place, money system, uh, every single uh, system that was put in place, almost all the belief systems were based on the concept of making you believe that you were this um, alone, that you weren't good enough, and you needed to try a lot harder at the end of the day you probably still were never going to be good enough now the last two years i wanted you to figure out that none of that's true that you are a god and that what you create here is perfect it cannot be anything but perfect it is exactly what you intended it to be that there's no such thing as time and place it's just an illusion of time and place and that this is one heck of a game the most realistic um, virtual reality game ever and the most intense one now hopefully you've done all that and hopefully you're aware of all that and you've got that really really locked in well now that you're standing in that place of you're a god you're not blaming anybody else for anything that's ever happened to you or that ever will happen to you. That you understand that you're a God and you're creating this. That everything, even though you might not understand it in the moment, everything is exactly the way it was meant to be. Everything is perfect the way that it is. Now you understand that and you give um, respect to all the other gods on the planet that you may not agree with the game of of serial killing but you totally respect that other being that that's the game that they've decided to play that you understand that in this game of contrast that there are some beings that showed up 
who decided they wanted to be the heroes, others decided that they wanted to be the villains, and in order for this contrast game to work, like any good movie or any good video game, you have to have both sides. So somebody has to volunteer for both sides. Fortunately, and there's got to be a lot of um, those people extras. There's got to be a lot of extras for all these different um, games too. So you may be like the lead character in this moment right now and you may be an ex extra for somebody else's game for the next uh, 10 events. Okay? So you're playing different roles. Everybody's playing different roles. Now that you look at it all as a game and although some days this can be more difficult than other days, of course, you keep coming back to that and you can look at it objectively. Now that you know all that, you give respect to all the other creator gods and you're not trying to get in their way and change their world. You just want to play the role that you want to play and you understand that and that's what you're working on is is doing a really good job of creating your reality to fit what you want and you're totally supportive of everybody else playing their game the way that they want to play it now that you've got all of that now what we're going to do is turn around and head back towards each other again okay <laughs> but you're gonna head back and start merging with people from a different perspective now you're not needing anybody else you're not trying to force anybody else to do anything you're not in a group trying to force everybody to become a part of your group you don't have a belief system that everybody has got to follow none of that is true all of those belief systems now have been put in a completely different perspective now you're open to everybody else's um, creationary process and what they've created. Now you head back towards each other to in curiosity. Now we're going to go back to each other. And when we meet, I'm going to say, so who are you? What has your life been about? Tell me about you. But instead of me listening making up a, a list of how I'm going to straighten you up or where you're wrong and I'm right. Instead of that, I'm going to listen 100%. I'm going to look you in the eyes and listen. And if I'm going to write down anything, it's questions about to clarify, give me more information about what this creationary process has been like for you. Okay? Now, even if others aren't at that point, doesn't mean that you can't be. You can come together and ask somebody about themselves, and when they ask about you, if they try pushing you into one of their belief system boxes, if they try to sell you on that you should be, that you should go to four years of college instead of being a, a singer-songwriter who makes your living playing songs in the subway, Instead of that, just when they try to do that because you're a creator God and they're a creator God and this is what they're creating and it's their belief system, you can, without making them feel bad in any way, shape, or form, you can let them continue on their path, their creation, and say, yeah, you know, that's, that's one way I could have gone about it. And who knows, you're never too old to go to college. You don't have to diss them. You can just back them up in their creationary process and listen to where their creation has created for them and be totally amazed in what they've created because each and every one of us every single day is creating amazing things okay and as you do that you're going to also spend any moment that you can trying to get your vibration to accept and merge with things like the air, with water, with a stone, with um, an animal, um, pet an animal, purr with an animal, chirp with a bird, uh, make the sounds that they're making, move your head like a dog, 
um, flow with the wind. Flow with the wind. Think like what you think a leaf would feel like as it flows down from the tree in the fall. See if you can go into the moments and see if you can merge with and feel what that other being is feeling. Okay? You won't get it exactly right, but if you open yourself up to it, I don't want you to take your belief systems into what you believe that they feel like. I want you to rather say, I'm a creator God, I can do anything I want, and right now I'm opening myself up and I would like to feel what that leaf feels like as it's falling down through the air from that tree. What does it feel like? As you're listening to that other person tell you them their story, I don't want you to assume or use your belief systems to what you think that that person is feeling like. I want you again, I'm a creator God, and I truly want to know that person's perspective. I don't want you to sympathetically, empathetically, compassionately do anything. I want you to open yourself up to accept without judgment, without assumption, without any kind of belief system about what that person should be feeling in the moment or because of their life and open it up and say I am interested in knowing what yours is and if you do that right you'll start getting the feel of that leaf that kitty cat or that person if it's just for a split second it'll start with a split second say thank you very much definitely felt something there and the next time you'll do it you'll feel a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and eventually what that will lead to is telepathy and telepathy is the next step but telepathy absolutely cannot be done if you have a preconceived idea of what that leaf is feeling or if it's not feeling anything or that homeless person is supposed to be feeling or that child is supposed to be feeling or that zebra is supposed to be feeling do you get what I'm saying okay so the next thing you want to do is open yourself up now that you've taken out all of that judgment all that other stuff and now you're going to open yourself up to see feel know whatever it is, word you want to call it, that other being. All right, does that make sense? Okay, guys, uh, if you have any questions about this one, um, experiment with this a little bit and tell me about it below. Or if you have any questions about it, then just ask me below and we'll go from there. Okay, that's it. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs now.